Communicating with your instructor or other students in your class online is usually done through email. Often you'll gain insight into people through the discussion area, but if you directly have a question you want to ask your instructor or communicate with another student, you would use the email and there's two avenues in which you can go. This icon up here in the right hand corner it looks like an envelope. When you have new email that is for you, you will see this little gold crown on the corner. And if you enter email through that area, you will have access to a pretty routine email interface. You'll be able to do almost everything from this area. So here we're looking at the message list. You can place your cursor over this middle bar above message preview and if you left click you can lower this and see the email in your inbox. And to view each one you can click on the title which gives you the preview pane down here. You can adjust that again if you like up here to be able to read them more easily. What you can do from this area is respond and check email. Read email and respond to it. You'll note here that when I hit on Compose, and I'll shrink this window down to fit in the recording area, there is no way from here to be able to address it to a classmate unless you know their email. So this window is for reading and replying to email. If you wanted to initiate an email or communication with somebody in your class, the best place for that would be under Class List. Here you'll have a long list of everybody in your class, and you can click on the people you want to send the email to, identify them, and then click on the little envelope icon here. Email selected users in a new window. So we get the same interface using this, but it's already addressed to everybody. So then you would enter your subject and your message, and you can scroll down and add attachments if you wanted to send them a file. So you would browse for a file, select your file, and click Open to attach it. If you wanted to add more than one file, you would click Add, which gives you another area in which you can add an additional file. And then you would click Send, and it tells you that the message has been sent. So it's a little bit unusual. Check your email from this icon in the corner. Respond to email that's in your inbox, but if you want to send email, do it from the class list.